Hello dear all, I am Santosh Vag and welcome to channel Learn Easy by Sandhya Vag. Here we will see practice at 3.1 of chapter Indices and Cube Root class at Mathematics. So let's start our video. See practice set 3.1 question number 1. Express the following numbers in the index forms. These numbers are given and it is asked to express these numbers in index form. So before solving these questions first understand what is the index form you know if number is written as 5 raised to 10 then this is the index form of this number here 5 is the base and 10 is the index are you getting 5 raised to 10 means 5 is the base and 10 is the index and this is the index form of number this is the index form of number so this form is asked here what is the first one fifth root of 13 fifth root of 13 13 is the base it is clear so right here 13 and fifth root root means it is a again see again see in this 10 this is the index and here what is the index fifth root this is the index then how to express this fifth root if it is written as a root then it must be in the form of 1 by n are you getting if number is 7 and it is power is 1 by n this is a n is a fifth n is a nth root here it is a nth root of 7 means what is written here what is the value of n it is 1 by n so it is a root are you getting it is a root and root is indicated like this it is a n is written here and 7 is base number is written here this is also written like this so it is asked as a index form so we must write here index form index form is 1 by n so what is 1 by n it is fifth so right here 1 by 5 so this is the index form of number 13 raised to 1 by 5 means fifth root of 13 so similarly see the next one sixth root of 9 so 9 is the base 9 is the base number and a sixth root means 1 by 6 are you getting very simple because what is the power power is a sixth root means 1 by 6 when it is asked when it is said it is a root it is 1 by n then see the next one square root of 256 256 is a base 256 is a base and square root square root means 1 by 2 are you getting square means 2 root means 1 by ya tikani lakshat gya jemha jemha open index form li to tya veli ha jo root shabd asto root cha arth 1 by n 1 by that number 1 divided by this number ani to power madhe apan lito ata next pa fourth one cube root of 70 this is a cube root of 17 means 17 is a base and cube means 3 but it is written as a root so we must write here 1 by 3 17 raised to 1 by 3 similarly here 8th root of 100 base is 100 and root is 8 so 1 by 8 so this is a power 1 by 8 is a power 100 is a base so this is the index form of this number 8th root of 100 and last one is a 7th root of 30 30 is base and 7th means 1 by 7 very simple as you say sup sup hai ki root jama ha shabda prayog aparla jail त्यावेळी लक्षात घ्यायचा पावर हा नेहमी 1/n या पद्धतीने असतो 
सी क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ऑफ प्रैक्टिस सेट थ्री पॉइंट वन राइट इन द फॉर्म एन द रूट ऑफ ए इन ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नंबर्स हियर व्हाट इज आस एन द रूट ऑफ ए अगेन सी वी हैव फर्स्ट सीन द इंडेक्स फॉर्म ऑफ नंबर सी हियर इंडेक्स फॉर्म ऑफ नंबर इज लेट एग्जांपल इफ देर इज नंबर सिक्स एंड पावर इज फोर देन हियर Six is the base, four is the index, and this is the index form. Are you getting? And inverse, how we can write here? Four is the power, means fourth power, fourth power of six. This is the power power form. If the index is in the form of one by n. If the example is six raised to one by four, here this index is one by four, means it is a fourth root of six. How it is written as fourth root of six. When it is a one by four, one by any number, one by any number, means if the number is a and its power is 1 by n means it is a nth root what is it it is nth root nth root of a and we are using this nth root of a to solve this example see what is said 81 raised to 1 by 4 means it is a fourth root how we how we are writing here it is a Fourth root. One by four means fourth root. Only fourth not. It is a root. Fourth root. One by four means fourth root of this base number is eighty one. Eighty one number is a fourth root. Manje eighty one raised to one by four. When it is written one by four, one by six, one by eight means one by n. Then it is the nth root of that base number. Here, forty-nine is to one by two. Very one by two means it is a square root for specific numbers two and three. It is a specific numbers for two. We have the number square. For two, we have number square, and for three, we have number cube. We are using these two words for these two numbers respectively. So one by two means square root. Always remember square root, not square. It is a square root of forty nine. Why root? Because it is one by two. It is not two. It is one by two. So it is square root. See third one. Fifteen raised to one by five. When fifteen raised to one by five means it is a fifth root. Fifth. Root of fifteen. Very simple. Then five one two raised to one by nine. How it can be? One by nine means it is a ninth root. Are you getting? It is a ninth root of five hundred and twelve. So right here, ninth root of five hundred and twelve. Are you getting? It is a one by nine. So it is a Ninth root. Then next one, hundred raised to one by nineteen. So how it is written as? It is a one by nineteen. Means nineteenth root. So it is a nineteenth root of hundred. One by nineteen. So it is a nineteenth root of hundred. And last one is a six raised to one by seven. Means it is a seventh root. Seven. One by seven means seventh root of Six. So very simple. When we are writing here again, see when we are writing raised to one by n. When there is power raised to one by n, it is a nth root of seven. Nth root nth root of base number. Here example is seven, so it is a nth root of seven. When it is in the only integer numbers ten, then it is a power. It is a only power. 
and when it is 1 by n then it is a root nth root of that base number this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you